Hello everyone, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access, where I am going to talk about the state of Kerbal Space Program 2. Normally I don't talk about the news or give my opinion on things, I prefer to show people exactly how things are working out for me. Uh, in the game, show the good sides and the bad sides, but show it instead of talking about it and let people to decide for themselves. Uh, but there has been recent news and so I'm for once going to do what all other YouTubers seem to do and actually talk about the game and uh, give my opinion. So first let me take off with this VTOL and then we'll fly around while I do what I probably shouldn't be doing <laughs> and, and talk about this thing. So the reason we're talking about this is because there's been recent news that Take-Two Interactive has laid off people in Seattle and those layoffs are apparently predominantly at Intercept Games, which makes Kerbal Space Program 2, among other games. And let's face it, the pace of updates for Kerbal Space Program 2 has been somewhat lacking, uh, as it is. So having people laid off at the developer for Kerbal Space Program 2 isn't ideal. I am going to read the official statement and this was posted among other places on the Twitter account for Kerbal Space Program and so the full statement full statement mind you from take two is on April 16th take two announced a cost reduction program to identify and I apologize ahead of time for the business speak but cost reduction program to identify efficiencies across its businesses and to enhance the company's margin profile while still investing for growth. As part of these efforts, the company is rationalizing its pipeline and eliminating several projects in development and streamlining, streamlining its organizational structure, which will eliminate headcount and reduce further hiring needs. And that's future hiring needs, actually, sorry. The company is not providing additional details on this program. On April 18th, Private Division successfully launched Moon Studios No Rest for the Wicked, the, the, the label continues to make updates to Kerbal Space Program 2 and plans to release Weta Workshop Game Studios Tales of the Shrine, a Lord of the Rings game in the second half of 2024. So obviously a lot of interesting wordage there. Uh, having paid attention to the stock market for uh, more than 25 years now, I could comment on the wordage, but I, one word uh, sticks out to me and that's updates. Now they do mention planning to release another game but they don't really tell us that they're working towards a release of Kerbal Space Program 2 and I wonder sometimes what Take-Two thinks the state of Kerbal Space Program 2 is. The issue is that normally big-time developers and publishers don't normally do early access, right? Early access is for indie developers who don't have the budget of a big-time publisher and really need the boost that early access can give them. And I, I just want to know that Take-Two doesn't think that Kerbal Space Program 2 is a fully released game, right? Uh, they realize that this is something that they have promised to deliver and they have not delivered yet. It is not something that they are merely updating, right? That's one thing. And, but on the whole, I have to say, this doesn't encourage me, <laughs> right? Uh, I am making this video because I'm not encouraged by this. I am, I, I have not been instilled with a great sense of confidence that Kerbal Space Program 2 is going to get done. There are a lot of problems. First of all, I can't use my joystick to fly the plane. Uh, there are UI issues, especially with the bloody resource manager and action group manager. Uh, th there are a lot of things I could list. But probably the top thing, the thing that would give people the most solace is if we could actually make mods for the game properly. Would at least help a lot. It won't solve all the problems. Some of them are fundamental and need to be done by the developers. And of course there's all the issues. Let me tell you, I've never been holding my breath for the multiplayer. But the other things I think should be doable. I think 
we should expect that the other things like the colonies and the interstellar travel pits those are things that are mods in Kerbal Space Program 1 and I think should be possible in Kerbal Space Program 2 given the effort and I hope we get more clarity that they are working towards that and not like just giving bug fix updates so those are necessary too the problem is and the reason why I don't have a whole lot of confidence is we haven't been getting that many updates now I know they're in a longer dev, dev cycle and they're they are working towards the bigger updates like we got the four science update and that was a good update and I appreciate them trying to focus on these bigger things instead of just uh, giving little patch updates and focusing on those and maybe bug fixing in the course of making a major update. So I understand all of that, but there needs to be a lot more clarity about the plan here, especially with these news of layoffs. So yeah, uh, I have not previously given much sign of either optimism or pessimism as far as Kerbal Space Program 2, and you know, there's a lot working here. You can play the game, uh, but there's a lot that needs to be fixed, and there are a lot of features of Kerbal Space Program 1 that aren't here. So there are a lot of ways in which it is not... It is graphically a nicer game than Kerbal Space Program 1, but there are a lot of ways in which it is not currently better than Kerbal Space Program 1, and so we would like to see it improve. I obviously have a deep interest in this game and in Kerbal Space Program 1. And maybe Take-Two Interactive thinks that, well, I've already paid for it so my opinion doesn't count, but you know, Take-Two Interactive makes other games like GTA 6 and if I, if I look askance at them because of the way they've treated this game, they might not be getting my money for GTA 6 and trust me, I've played the GTA 5 and GTA Online a lot. So, you know, they, they say they want to maintain their growth. I'm just saying, you know, company reputation is a thing. I know these days business people don't really think too much about company, company reputation. But, yeah, company reputation is a thing. And I hope they uh, do a little bit more to maintain it by being a little bit clearer about their intentions regarding their existing titles. So, as I try and bring this in for a landing, I uh, hope one day the dev team of Kerbal Space Program 2 also brings it in for a nice landing. Probably nicer than the one I'm about to do. Let's see. This is the first time I'm trying to land this. I have not practiced. This is this is a test. This is this was a test flight, as everything I do tends to be. So this will be the first attempted landing with this VTOL, and the goal was to have this be a VTOL for Lathe. But I've, yeah, dealing with the little jets has been interesting. With them occasionally deciding to turn off, even if I turn auto switch off. Right now they're not doing that. But I don't want to go down too fast. And I lose yaw control in this situation. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Uh. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Get this thing intact. <laughs> Land this intact. Is the big message here. So anyway, if you're wondering my thoughts about it, there you go. I don't want to talk any more about it. Uh, if if I see opportunities to play the game, I'll play the game. If I'm if I see 
something that excites me, I'll play the game, right? Right now, I, uh, as far as the Four Science update, I'm pretty much satisfied that I've plumbed the depths of it. So, if you're wondering about further KSP2 videos, I'm probably waiting for another update. So, anyway, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.